I am so excited to ride at Ascot. It means the world to me. Obviously, I did Goodwood um, back in August, and now I've got Ascot coming up. And to ride there, it's, I mean, how special to get to ride there. All the greats have ridden there, and it's got every incredible meeting. And I went to Royal Ascot this year for the first time, and I never thought in my world of dreams that I'd actually get to ride there. So I'm terrified <laughs> and excited all at the same time. Do you know, I think it's the hardest part of this entire thing is the fitness completely. I, I'm riding fit in every way, but to keep that gym fit up in order to get strong and your legs have to be so strong, I think really maintaining that fitness is definitely the hardest thing for me. Has Rosie improved over the last eight months? What do I have to say? Um, no, definitely, of course she has. She's got fitter, she's got stronger, her position's better, and no, perfect. Um, riding in a race and riding out at home, everything happens a lot slower at home, um, so you have a bit more time to learn and you don't go as quick, whereas you blink and the race is over. Yeah, I've been helping Rosie um, since she came here, and she hadn't ridden race horses before, so I tapped a horse up and give her a bit of confidence in that. Uh, Rosie has improved immensely since she's been here, yeah. Uh, so juggling university work and riding is, is it's tough, but actually I, I like being busy. I like being the busiest person that I know. And um, actually the timings kind of work quite well because I'm up at five and then I finish here by about 10. I'm back in my lectures by midday and then carry on with my work. And then if I've got a job to go to, I just get a train into London and, and go to my job as well. So after Goodwood, I learned that you have to stay really calm. Um, the cantering down, I think, was the hardest bit for me. Just that pressure of getting down to the start. And I think I've learned just to chill before that bit and just take it all in really and really enjoy the experience rather than see it as something that's scary um, but this time I hope it's a little bit more competitive. <laughs> this is extremely unusual in the modelling world. I know Edie Campbell did a couple of races as well. Um, I think I'm one of these girls I remember when I first got paid my agency said go and buy yourself some designer clothes and I went and bought my horse a new saddle <laughs> so I think that's kind of the girl I am and I don't know I think they do like it because it's something different. Oh, would I give up modelling to become a full-time jockey? I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> Do you know what? I think I'd give up to be a work, you know, a rider in the yard, but not a full-time jockey. But I, I do, I'm completely obsessed with it, but I think it's because it's not work that I love it. If you do win, how will you react and celebrate? I think I'd do a Frankie to Tory jump, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd fall off. <laughs> oh, I'll be so, if I win, that would mean everything.